All right, guys, welcome back. We are at NFC 25, Non-Fungible Cast, episode 25. We have a super special guest today. We've talked to him once before. It is our man, Stinky Duck. He's not actually stinky in real life, and clearly he's not a duck, but uh, he's an absolute beauty. We love him very much, man. He is uh, one of the founders. He's one of the main guys in Soulcraft, so it's always exciting to talk to you. Uh, you always are, you, you know, you have so much to say, so much knowledge, and I could listen to you speak all day. He does a lot of really good uh, spaces on Twitter, guys. Make sure you follow him on Twitter. Uh, join the Discord, the Soulcraft Discord. We're going to get into all that. Stinky Duck, what is up, my brother? What is new? What's exciting? Yo, break it down, man. What you, what you been up to, man? Hey, man, you're making me blush. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we've been just grinding away, uh, uh, working towards our, you know, a couple of our immediate goals. Uh, as you guys know, we, we still have that big announcement that we've got uh, lurking overhead, and, and we're waiting to pull the trigger on that. Trust me. Uh, it's been tough to keep Dwarf King, Dwarf King uh, uh, quiet on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's we're awesome. Eager to, we're eager to get that news out to you, but we got a lot of things cooking. I'm sure we're going to talk about a few of them, but appreciate you guys, and, and as always, love to talk to you guys too. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's always a pleasure talking to you. You're a beauty, fellow Canadian right there. And uh, yeah, it's, like I say, man, you you crush those spaces. I listen to them and uh, you absolutely crush them, man. Great job on those. WT, what's going on? As you guys see, WT shaved the stash. He did turn into a beautiful butterfly. Look at that beautiful man right there. Uh, what's going on, man? What's new and exciting with you? Thanks for the intro. Yes, the mustache turned into a butterfly. It flew away. It did not drag me with it, with it fortunately. <laughs> So I look a little younger, I've been told recently. So hey, I'll take it. And uh, yeah, it it might be back. Who knows? It was it was starting to annoy me. You know, the hairs were going up at the nose and everything. Because uh, I don't I don't touch it at all. When I grow it, I grow. I go full natural. Not and uh, yeah, it, it was just time. It's summertime. And uh, yeah, we got our main man, uh, Stinky Duck here. He does not stink. He's the opposite of stink. <laughs> Networking guru. Good on the mic. He's rocking those killer shades mm -hmm. with the old school paper boy hat. I absolutely <laughs> love the look. Very cool. Glad to have you back on, brother. Yeah, like like I say, man, you're you crush those spaces. I uh, always love hearing you talk, man, and I can't wait to talk to you today. And and, and let's find out what's going on with Soulcraft. We're gonna you know we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna get right into it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things in, in coming up, man. Like it just it, it seems like things just don't stop. There's always just like okay, this is next. This is next. This is next. This is next. You guys are so ambitious with everything you want to throw in there. Now, the pig foraging uh, is something coming up. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so, you know, uh, to be honest, it's taken a lot longer than we wanted it to. Obviously, we would want to roll it out already, uh, but we are right in the home stages and we're in the testing phase. Uh, so it's it's looking great. You guys are going to like it and it's going to give a whole new utility to those little piggies. So uh, looking forward to sending them out and, and uh, collecting some, some items. Uh, and you guys are going to like it, just how we've designed it. As always, we try to use the rarities and the different elements of those NFTs that we have uh, to add different facets to the game. So uh, with our DeFi platform, especially, you know, those are going to contribute and, and uh, uh, yeah, we're, I don't want to give too much away, man. It, it's uh it looks clean as heck. Uh, the interface, uh, it's running perfectly. Um, we, we've got all the elements already constructed. We're going to have it probably set up so that those elements are minted uh, when you actually forge them. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's it, it's exciting, man. We're, we're, uh, we're pretty close. I, I can't lock in a date yet because, you know, we like to have the product finished. And then we say, okay, guys, this is our launch date. So uh, as soon as we have it all fully fully tested, uh, we'll be announcing that shortly. Yeah, for sure. You want to make sure it's a working product before you get out there. Cause that, in any project you talk about, everyone's like, when's this, when's alpha, when this, when, you know, it's, that's always the question. And, and sometimes it feel like it can put the pressure on the team to kind of like release it. And a lot of times when that happens, you release a, you know, a, not a complete product. So yeah, I, you know, the best thing to do is just, you know, just relax. It's coming. Let us work on it, and when it's done, you're going to get it, and you're going to enjoy it rather than setting out a broken product, and then, you know, it's you know that's the right way to do it. Um, yeah, I'm excited for the pig foraging. So I know you said you say you, can't, you can't say too much, but they're going to go out, bring some materials back. With those materials, you're going to craft and get some, some items and stuff. Is there anything you can let us know about it? Anything without saying too much? Maybe even a, you can say a little bit too much. It's fine, you know? Well, all right. So, so basically how we have it. Uh, so as we know, the land parcel staking gets you the elements for the associated land, right? Well, these pigs are going to have, uh, you know, 
the ability to gather some of those resources, but randomly, and uh, it's going to give you a lower entry in case you need some of those elemental uh, crafting materials, because we foresee the land parcels as something that's going to be uh, a premium item in our game. And so eventually, you know, the, the pigs are going to be the entry point for those people that can't get into the land parcels. Uh, so we wanted to give it an option. You know, we don't want to just, if you don't have a land parcel, you can't make anything and you're not going to get the crafting materials right. you need. And it's, it would just create a problem for new entry. So, uh, so the pigs are meant to be uh, a much cheaper way to be able to, to get some of those crafting materials. And obviously we'll also have a marketplace that we'll be integrating uh, so that you can buy, sell, trade uh, these different uh, fungible tokens as well, which will be the crafting materials. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we've got some news about that that we'll, we'll definitely spill as soon as we can as well. Awesome. Yeah, and that's the thing. You, you know, we, you know, land is king in, in a lot of these things. You want land, that's what you want. And, and like you say, the pigs are like, uh, obviously they're not going to be able to do what the land does, but it still gives you an entry point to get involved, uh, which is good. That's very important because, yeah, not everyone has land. It's it, There's only so many pieces. Not everybody can own it. And so that's really good because you're not kind of, you know, stopping other players from getting involved as well. I really like that uh, that play as well. WT, what do you, what do you want to talk about with the pig uh, uh, forging? Fertility, fertility. So then we've got breeding with these pigs. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a mini game with racing. They defend the dwarves. Uh, also with the breeding, you can get these rare uh, attributes uh, with the uh, with the mutations, and you can either get a ram, a dragon, or a wolf. The, the dragons being the most elusive that everybody wants to get. And they have their, we won't even get to that one. It's going to be too much. <laughs> but all this fertility going on, and now you guys are adding foraging. I mean, I don't think these things have enough fur for the fertility that you guys are packing to it. So we got four different things right now. Who knows? Who knows what else you guys are going to come with? I mean, it's, it's just been the constant theme with this, with this game, with this company, is packing value into things. We absolutely love it. And, uh, yeah, hats off to you guys. I, I did get to see a prototype... Uh, spreadsheet and I, I know it's not set in stone but like the the attributes on the pigs themselves are gonna like each each attribute has like a percentage chance of like going for common items rare items uh, just like you did with the dwarves i mean it's just it's mind-blowing the level of uh micro things you guys are putting in every little every little aspect and i absolutely love it man yeah, I appreciate you saying that. And that's one thing that we pride ourselves on is the the amount of intricacy and detail that we go into with our collection. And what we really want to do is be able to wrap that DeFi gaming experience into this RTS, you know, 3D world and, and have them uh, complement each other in such a way that we've never seen before. And so, you know, we want to we want to build this ecosystem. And I've said it right from the beginning so that so that basically the solenite in your wallet is more valuable than than actually selling it. You're going to want more of it. So uh, that's been the plan from the very beginning. I mean, look at the pigs, right? They were a free airdrop, uh, and now we're going to pack some value into those free airdrops. And, uh, you know, the elves coming up, uh, they're going to have the owls. And guess what? Uh, you know, we're going to have something else for those too. So. Yeah, actually, that's something I wanted to bring up was the uh, the elves. So the is it the June? Uh, June, there's going to be the elf mint uh, coming uh do you want to spill anything on that anything you can say uh we know so what we know so far is uh for the dwarf holders you can get for every dwarf you own you can get an elf you use solonite for it again as uh as stinky duck was just saying uh the value of solonite you know they you want to have this you're gonna be able to do things like get these uh these elves so if you have 10 dwarves you can get tw 10 elves if you have 20 dwarves you get 20 elves if you have two dwarves you get two elves with the solonite uh there's gonna be a bunch you can get with solana uh publicly as well after and uh i'm sure there's going to be massive utility. This is one word you're going to hear a lot when we talk about uh, Soulcraft. It's always utility. That's the word that comes up. Everything has utility. Utility, utility. And uh, and yeah, they're, so the dwarves had the pigs. Uh, these elves are going to have owls. Is there anything you can tell us about the elves? Anything you can tell us about the owls? What their, what their role is going to be? What they can do? Uh, anything at all you can say without going too far? Or again, like I say, maybe you can just cross that line a little bit and spill a little bit. It's totally up to you, my friend. Yeah, you're always. I know you're always looking to get the inside edge. So, um, <laughs> as far as the uh, the elves go, yeah, like you said, we got two thousand 
it will be the original set and then another 2000 uh for the public so the the first 2000 will be strictly for our dwarf holders who will be able to mint them with 500 solanite and of course the solana gas fees which are very minimal mm -hmm. uh and it's our way to reward the ogs and, and to continue to appreciate the people that are uh investments uh you know invested from the very beginning so uh that's going to continue uh you know we don't plan on ever really changing that we want to we want to give those guys a piece every time you know what i mean so right. and we'll continue to add that public element to bring an onboard new people because we are you know as you know well pretty quiet right now you know we're, we're floating under the radar which is perfect for us right now mm -hmm. uh and we're gearing up to make that next move and and when we do it, uh, everybody's going to know. Yeah, and, and and I'm glad you brought that up as well because, like you said, the team's been pretty quiet right now. But usually, like like WT and I, we, you know, we're in the we've been in the industry for a bit too, and it's like you know, we know from experience that when it's quiet, that's when they're doing the most work. You know, they're not just putting the putting it on the shelf and watching it. You know, no, no, no. When it's quiet, it's because you guys are heads your heads are down. You're doing the work. You're doing a lot behind the scenes. And then when it's time, it's like, here, guys, this is what we've been working on. So yeah, being quiet is not a bad thing. Uh, when we know, especially if you know, we know you guys and what you're doing. You guys are absolutely always adding more, uh, always blowing our minds. Again, I've said it before, utility. You'll come out and be like, all right, guys, yeah, these pigs, by the way, they do this, 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 and this. And it's things that we were happy with the pigs or the dwarves or whatever it was before. And out of nowhere, you're like, by the way, they do even more. And, it, and you, you got to love that. You got to love that. So, yeah, um, being quiet. Um, when you say you're being quiet, I see it as you guys are really working hard. And like you said, I know we're not, you know, there's big things coming and I absolutely believe that. So another thing I want to talk about is the land staking. Uh, you know, the land staking was a new thing. Um, tell us about that and, and, and the thoughts of it. Now I have, I have a few plots of land myself and, uh, I got some cool ones. I got some good ones. I got like the lava ones and the ice ones and with some pretty good stats on them and stuff. Explain the land, uh, the land staking, the different types and, and what's going on with that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so the land staking, it, it did come for a, a bit of a surprise to a lot of people that we we just kind of launched it. Um, but we wanted to give, again, you know, those early adapters uh, the ability to start to accumulate some assets within our game. So, uh, you know, they're going to be the ones that have the advantage. Uh, and and that's why we're doing that. So, yes, we, we've done it through Diamond Vaults now. Uh, we have talked to a couple of different people about customizing and building our own. Uh, it is a, a plan in the future. Uh, right now, we don't see it as a priority. Uh, but we we basically just wanted to roll it out and get it implemented right away to reward those OGs again. You know, it's always coming back to that. We want to we want to make sure that our core community is happy and as well rewarded and feels like their investment is is a good one. And so uh, that's why we continue to build value with those. Uh, and, you know, even the newcomers, you, you'll start to see the accumulation of, of what you get when you join this community. And and that's ultimately what we're trying to build here. We want to we want everybody to benefit from from what we're building. You know what I mean? We want them to be part of it. We want them to contribute to it and we want them to be rewarded as part of it as well. So, uh, you know, the more you're invested, the more you be rewarded. And that's that's how we've designed everything. And, and we're going to continue to look at it that way. The land parcels. No different, man. It's like you said, land parcels are usually king. And, you know, once we get these things actually implemented in the game, you guys are going to see, uh, you know, just how far we can take it with those. But for now, let's use them. Let's gather some some crafting materials. We'll give you guys the advantage so that you guys have some stuff right away when as soon as we implement the crafting. Uh, and then you can start to try out and, and get those right matches. And when you do, you know, uh, your name's going to go down in our book. Uh, we're going to create like a lore book. Uh, so when something is discovered, your name is going to be, you know, forever uh, a part of our game. So it's, it's really yeah. wild, man. I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I love these kind of games and, you know, I'm passionate about it and I just, I can't wait to see where we go with it and, and how far we can really take it. Yeah, and and, and it, like I say, we're, you're always building and always throwing more out there. And and I never, I didn't expect land staking. That's something I've never even seen before. I think that's really cool. 
Uh, and again, you're rewarding the OGs. And you said, you know, it's you're you're making sure that the OGs are taken care of, and then the newcomers, you know, you want newcomers as well. And you know, the OGs is what helps build the brand. We're the ones, you know, the ones that believed in it before anybody else. So I, I really like the fact that you're taking care of the OGs, and you are. Like you guys are, you know, the Solonite, the you know, staking the dwarves, and now staking the land, and and you know, getting the elves, and and you've done so much for us, uh, which is amazing. Now I want to talk about the onboarding of the new the new people. You've been doing a lot of Twitter Spaces. Uh, and I've said before, you're just absolutely crushing it. You're such a good speaker. You're so articulate. You know what you're talking about. You're not just, you know, talking out of your ass. Like, you know what you're talking about. And, and I love that. And uh, you recently did one with uh, Wonky Stocks. And it's been uh, a good collab with them. I feel like it's brought in a lot of nice eye, new eyes. And and it's been a really good collab. And, and they seem like a really good community. And it seems like they're really digging uh, Soulcraft, um, you know, and is there any other collabs you're looking at to get more eyes in? What are your plans to get more people in the community? Because like you say, the core group is great. Uh, they're very passionate about it, very, you know, and, and to get people like the Wonky Socks group in and is there any other plans, other uh, Twitter spaces you're looking at getting into to get more eyes in? What's the plan for that? Yeah, so I, at any given time, I have, you know, multiple conversations going with, uh, you know, different collections. Uh, right now, I do have a couple that I'm talking to. Uh, I don't, uh, I won't ever refer to the names until I, I have something, you know, agreed on, uh, just out of respect for the other collections. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about them. They're ones that I've been a part of. Uh, so I have good rapport with them. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things that, that we can really benefit at Soulcraft uh, is, uh, you know, because I've been in the space and in a lot of these communities for, you know, a little while, uh, I have some, some relationships that I'm looking to, to kind of call on now and say, Hey guys, now let's, let's do something together. And uh, so that's kind of how we're doing it. And, Purely organic. Uh, we don't pay shills. Uh, you know, we get a thousand a day, maybe sending messages to us asking us if we want to. Uh, but it's it's never been a paid shill kind of thing. Uh, and the Wonky Stonks family, uh, I was part of uh, from the very beginning. You know, I minted uh, Wonky Stonks and uh, was, I have interacted in that community since they minted out uh, like last year, I think it was. Um, so you know, the relationships I had there were already well developed and, and they were my friends. So, you know, I just went to them and said, Hey guys, I'd love to integrate you guys into this game because, you know, I know that they're a real community. I know Crypto Calio is, is one that's going to be around and, and, you know, eighties and, and all those guys they're I know they're solid. So right. I, I wanted them to be involved. And so I just, offered them you know that's that's the best way that i i think that we onboard people into this is as i gave them uh, a custom land parcel for their community and so they can start to learn about it and it doesn't really cost them anything in fact in, in the future it will actually benefit them because they'll be able to get those taxes from that land so uh you know it's i i, I think the strongest way you can build a really good nft collection community is by contributing more than you expect to get and so if you continue with that kind of thought process then you know, if everybody does that, it, it's you'd be amazed in what you can accomplish. And I think we got the team for it. Yeah. And, and WT and I talk about this all the time. Networking is so big in this space and just not even this space and just in general. And uh, yeah, you definitely are a master at that. Your networking skills are through the roof. I mean, uh, you know, it's impressive, man. You know, uh, like you say, the messages are coming through. I feel you on that, man. And it's like, you know, the networking is is absolutely huge in this space. Uh, WT, what are your thoughts on uh, what about you with the land staking and the, and the networking and all that? Talk to me. Before I comment on that, can I see the cool looking koozie? If that's, I don't know what you guys call them. Yeah. We call them koozies here. Look, look at yeah. that thing up so we can see it. Yeah, for sure, man. Oh, look that's at that. Sick. In the back here, watch. Beer hall oh, member. member. That's awesome. Yeah. Absolutely love it, man. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get one of those. Don't we just call it like a beer holder? What do we call it? I, we call them koozies here. I don't know why, but. Uh, we call them uh, uh, beer cozies here. Yeah, like a uh, yeah a beer cozy. Okay. Yeah, like a beer holder, beer cozy. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty solid, man. I, that's pretty solid. Yeah, what are your thoughts, thoughts on uh, the everything? Uh, yeah, I've got I've got some land and I've been holding it, staking it, and earning my uh, earth band and ice. I believe is the things I'm earning. I wasn't able to get a molten land, but that's okay. My custom one will be coming eventually, and I went with the molten for that one because I needed to get at least one. Um, boy, these Twitter spaces, I've been in quite a few of them. 
they're never bad uh, because you're there and you do a fantastic job there. And I'm not just saying that. I, I can tell when someone can speak and knows about the product. That's that's the other thing. Yeah. Can you speak and do you know about the product? And you got both of those nailed down. There has only been one Twitter space that I was like thoroughly annoyed. And they, they held you out of the conversation for like almost an hour. And I'm pretty sure everyone that tuned in knows the one I'm talking about. <laughs> and all the pitches there were so subpar. And then you come on and just blow the doors off and like everybody was like wow and then they went back to these subpar ones and we were all like pulling our hair like oh come on we want to hear more of what, what stinky duck has to say and this this recent one not not to downplay all the other ones but this recent one with uh oh my mind was just went was it uh oh wonky. gosh yes sorry thank you the wonky socks uh that one by far has been the best one in my opinion and I've seen a, an immediate result. We've got some new people in the Discord and, and the, the owner. I'm not real familiar with him yet, but I've heard him speak twice now with you. He's on point. And you, you, can, you can tell who's been in the space and knows the space, and he does. And I'm super happy that you, you brought this collab here because we're seeing an immediate impact from it. And I think it's going to grow into something. I really like this collab a lot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that. And I, I'll just comment quickly. Uh, uh, just we want to go with really quality uh, collabs going forward. So we do get them. You know, we get lots of offers, uh, but we want to make sure that they're the right ones, because exactly like you said, like this is the result of those. And 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 we yeah, we flow great. 80s and I, uh, you know, we're, we're buds. We go back a, a little bit. And in this space, we go back a long way, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, because time moves different. But yeah, uh, didn't mean to interrupt you there, uh, Capone. No, no, I was no, no, I was, I was just gonna totally agree with what, what WT said, man. I mean, you, you, t you're, you're so good on these spaces. Like, dude, you're built for this. You're built for this, man. And and uh, I, I can't say it enough. And you don't talk in circles. You're right to the point, and uh, you say it as it's got. It. And I love that. I love that about you, man. Uh, all right, let's talk about uh, the mega giveaway. There was a massive giveaway um that happened it was huge huge um we our buddy sandro so sandro was a good friend of uh wt and i uh we you know we've known him for a very 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 long time now like you say in the in, in the in the nft space a very long time it's been a, you know over a year i guess um and uh he's an absolute beauty so it was like an art contest art creations memes tweets stuff like that this guy is just it blows my mind he made our nfc um logo and he's done a lot of art for you know projects that we're involved with and soulcraft and the guy is just so 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 talented so San uh sanjuro did win it was a plot of land a pig and a dwarf i believe uh which is awesome big 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 a big giveaway uh big shout out to sanjuro for that our other boy solemn swear who we've known for a long time as well he got second place uh these are friends of ours that you know we've known for a long time we actually came into soulcraft uh, together and stuff so uh big shout out to those guys we love them and it was Solomon Swear's 10 year anniversary yesterday. So a big shout out to him as well. Um, yeah. So these kind of giveaways, man, they're huge. They're huge. And uh, I'm sure you have, you know, probably more in the future. Is anything coming up with those? Any more giveaways? Anything coming up uh, down the line like that? Uh, yeah, we, we do like to do our giveaways, as you guys know. Um, oh, yeah. that one, uh, we did such a big giveaway because we wanted to celebrate, uh, you know, having a, a good connection there and, and having a good partnership uh, arise. So uh, we also, you know, it presents well as you know for for people to understand what we're about and uh we like to present it that way so uh yeah i mean we'll definitely have a giveaway coming up but uh you'll have to stay stay in tune with the discord to know when they're coming because if i told you now then people just be popping into that right there's a the stinky <laughs> right. special man we're always looking for those stinky specials as, the, as they're called um and also speaking about Sandro, he is the new ambassador. Um, big, big, big. Yeah. This they're well deserved, man. The guy is. Uh -huh. I mean, the guy is so talented. He's so passionate. The guy has so much passion. It's 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 unbelievable. So much passion. Um, again, good friend of ours. He did our logo, lot stuff. We love the guy. Uh, big, 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 big shout out to Sandro. Um, yeah, so there's a few of us now. There's uh, the two of us and Sandro. Well deserved, buddy. Big shout out again. Uh, Designer Dave did a uh, map creation live. Let's talk about the map creation. Designer Dave's a beauty, man. Actually, I've, I've talked to him a bunch of times, um, you know, just on our own. He's, he's a great guy. We've even done some VR games together and stuff. He's a cool cat. Love Dave. Uh, tell us about Dave and his map creation and uh, and all that stuff. Yeah, you know what? He He's just the right guy for the job. And I mean, 
you know, his, his resume alone will tell you that. But when you meet him and, and talk to him, you know, he, he shares a passion for this kind of thing, too. And I, I truly wish that I could talk more about him. But I, I, I got to be honest, like I haven't had a lot of time to talk to him and we trust with what he's doing. So we're letting him run with it. And, uh, uh, you know, once he's done and uh, I'll be definitely, you know, obviously looking through it all. But uh, as of right now, uh, yeah, we're just letting him take the reins and, and know that he's he's doing it the right way. and. and and that he shares that common passion, right? That's important for us if you're going to be part of the team. Uh, and, you know, we've, we've had we've had great experiences and we've had some negative ones that, uh, you know, through through our last few months and, and uh, we've learned a lot. But one of the most important things for us is sharing that same passion. And, you know, he has it. So, uh, yeah, trust what he's doing and, and uh, can't wait to see the final product. The, the thing with Dave is, you know, and I say this with anybody, you cannot buy experience. The guy, like you said, his resume speaks for itself. The guy has the experience. He has the knowledge. Um, the, the guy is incredible. I mean, like I said, I've, I've talked to the guy, uh, you know, just we've talked on our own. We've played even video games together and stuff. The guy's a beauty and the resume speaks for itself. WT, thoughts on Dave, yeah. our boy Dave. Designer Dave, uh, yeah, I didn't know what to expect when he came on board. I'm a huge fan of Warcraft, so like I had a little, you know, fan craze that you guys were bringing him in and i knew who he was i didn't know a whole lot about him but like i've actually got to meet with him and talk with him a little bit and he's real down to earth he's real like he's low key like if you met him and talked to him you wouldn't think he's got like all his passion and stuff because he he's very mellow and that's awesome he just that's his aura he is just mellow and go with the flow and he started out this map creation i'm watching it and like we i gotta be honest when he first started i was like this doesn't look that great. And he was even saying like, oh, just give it some time. And then as he worked on it, it started developing. And then like, you know, he's putting in these little castles for the Elven Kingdom. And then he's doing like these cave entrances and like, is it too big? Is it too small? And he's putting in these little waterways and these frozen patches. And after like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, like the complete package was starting to come together. And it was like, wow, like it looked so basic before, but now it looked elaborate. And he, He's got that experience, and then he's creating the story lore in the, in the background, which is pretty awesome. And also, he is hanging out in the Discord community. I don't even know if that's... I don't see too many designers doing that. And he's hanging out in the community, chatting with people. I've had a conversation. We're talking about Stranger Things together, uh, our, our, our interests and passions about that, and... I've had a blast just kind of getting to know him and I, I enjoy his presence in the community. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah, you, you nailed it. Uh, it's, you know, that's, that just goes to show what kind of team members that we have. Right. I mean, look at lady Vanta. She's our, you know, our lead artist and, yeah. and she's doing a, a bang up job on, on the owls and she's, uh, she's, ta uh, you know, she's really doing a lot with the elves as well. And, and she's constantly hanging out and vibing and, and uh, chatting as well. So, uh, you know, that's the kind of team members that we, we want to have because they, they like the community. They want to be here. They want to interact. And, you know, they, they're, they're not, discord mods by any means you know what i mean so just to be in there and interacting like you say that's it speaks volumes yeah no they're awesome man a uh, big shout out yeah i've seen the the elves the dwarves or the the elves the owls they look amazing the art team is is killing it so mm -hmm. uh yeah super bullish on that can't wait till uh the elf mint uh is coming we don't have an exact date but it's coming uh sometime in june i believe and uh i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait uh is there anything that you want to talk about that we did not bring up anything at all that you're like yo we need to let the the community know we need to let the family know that we did not mention we did talk about it on a space already but uh i do want to re-mention just uh, that we will be in la uh and we're going to be there next month at the end of the month for the nft expo verse and we will be setting up a booth and i will be speaking as well and uh i believe Kadarius will also be there and speaking and uh yeah we're looking forward to that and if you want one of these beer cozies come and pay me a visit and i got one for you if you're a dwarf holder uh, i'll get you one so nice. <laughs> uh, we'll have some other swag as well we're gonna get some t-shirts uh some probably some mouse pads uh things of that nature and uh we'll be handing them out so That's awesome. looking forward to it 
That is awesome, yeah. man. I gotta get, I gotta get a t- yo. You gotta, I gotta see where I can find one of these t-shirts, man. I gotta get one of these for sure. Uh, yo, honestly, man, it's always so good to talk to you. It's, it's, uh, you're such a just so well spoken. You know your stuff, like we said. Uh, yeah. If there's anything at all that we missed, that we missed, please let us know. Uh, we absolutely love talking to you. You're always welcome to come chat with us anytime. You know, uh, man, we love talking with you. WT, is there anything that you wanted to bring up that uh, that we did not bring up? Big shout out to Dwarf King as always. He's taking a, a much needed uh, family break uh, over here in the United States, actually. And I'm sure he's going to be back soon. He's going to be chomping at the bit. So I can't wait to see uh, a refreshed Dwarf King going at it and everything that he brings to the table. And another big shout out to Cardarius. Uh, the amount that is given to him to come up with and, and the, the results that he's producing is absolutely amazing. And each one of you, you guys are the, the triangle of power here. You know, each one of you hand on different things. And a uh, big shout out to those guys. Maybe we can have them them on someday again. Uh, be Dwarf King on again. I, we'd love to have Cordarius on some time to talk to him. And, uh, uh, you know, th- there's nothing but positive things to say about this community and the, the founders and everybody involved. And uh, thanks for coming on and hanging out with us again. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, anytime. And I know uh, Dwarf King said he, he does want to hop on. Uh, he will be back Monday and, uh, you know, we'll be going full bore. Uh, we've got a couple of meetings and I have been talking to him regularly every day, uh, <laughs> bugging him while he's on vacation. But uh, uh, but yeah, he's been a good sport about it. And uh, I'm sure he'll be right back into it in the swing of things. And we'll see some nice custom posters and and uh, his interactions in the uh, in the discord are always welcome. And and uh uh, yeah, he's got a lot of big things planned with that item interface that we're that we're working on as well. So uh, he's got oh, yeah. a lot on his plate. So you know, that I I say those things, but he's got so much more that we're working on. And and uh, uh, yeah, appreciate him and I uh, appreciate Kadarius and the whole team. They they uh, like I said, man, we're we're the A team. So uh, <laughs> looking forward to seeing how it goes. Absolutely, man. It's a it, like I say. You guys have that passion, you have the drive, uh, and you guys have that knowledge. You guys are absolutely crushing this. This was great to talk to you, my friend. Uh, like I say, you're always welcome on. We got to get DK back on. We got to get uh, we got to get you guys on again sometime for sure. Uh, that is it for tonight, guys. That was a, an amazing, amazing, amazing chat. Always love uh, to hear what you have to say. WT, I hope you have a great day. My boy Stinky Tuck, I hope you have a great day as well, man. We are out of here, you beauties. Don't forget to hit the like, leave a comment, and hit that follow button. We love you. We're out of here. Peace.